guys back again with another video hope you're all doing right during this lockdown hope you're all doing well um got another video for you to keep us uh entertained you could say um yeah let's get into it um and today's video is going to be my uh, top 10 championship players so i've done my premier league top 10 players i've done my premier league top 10 goalkeepers i've done my done my what else have i done Done something else. Yeah, I've done my top 10 so far. So today I've, I'm going to change it a bit. I'm going to do my top 10 championship players now. Again, as I like to say before I start any video regarding these videos, all of our opinions, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Whether you agree or disagree with me, leave your top 10 as well. And um, yeah, let's get in the video. Um, yeah, let's go. So top 10 championship players. This is based on my knowledge of watching championship football. Um, and yeah, I'll start off with number 10 on the list of my top 10 championship players. I've gone with a very good, promising, exciting young talent from QPR of the name of Brecci Etsy, I think he's called. Brecci Etsy. This is a player who's been linked with clubs, Premier League clubs. A lot of Premier League clubs want this guy, uh, Tottenham being the main one, because he's stood out in QPRs. QPR have had a good season this season, I think they need the playoffs. He's really stood out for QPR. Um, you look at his stats this season, he's got 37 games, 12 goals and 8 assists and probably QPR's best player this season as well. Absolutely remarkable. Um, as I say, QPR have surprised people this season. Matt Warburton's done a good job there. The Mid-table in the playoffs, but this guy's been a real standout. He's very young as well. I think he's um, 21 years of age, so he's still a very young talent, obviously. Um, and they're incredible stats, I mean. He plays as a central attacking midfielder as well, a very good role to play. I think he's very quick on the ball, got delicate feet. Um, Gets past defenders. He's a very good, exciting player. He's plays for the England under 20 as well. So, yeah, he's definitely one to watch out for. He's made this top 10 and he's number 10 at Brixley Etsy. Um, number 9 is a player who I do like a lot. People might be surprised I've put him in my top 10, but I'm a massive fan of him. I think he's a fantastic player. I've gone with Lewis Wynn of Middlesbrough. Um, this is a player who started at the non league ranks, Sunday League, and he worked his way up. He's done it the hard way, like Jamie Vardy way. Um, he got a contract with Middlesbrough when he was 22, so he probably thought his cream was over. But he did amazing for his um, non-league club and scored like 60 goals this season, got a contract with Middlesbrough. And this is a very good player. His shots his shots are absolutely rapid. For me, he's probably got the best shot in the league. Scores a lot of long-range goals. Very good midfielder, box-to-box. Good pass of the ball, good free kick take. And I'm a massive fan of him. Middlesbrough have been poor this season, but for me, Lewis Wynn's been their standout player, and I think... He'll have clubs sniffing after him, whether the Premier League clubs or top championship clubs. He's a really good player, and I think in a better team, he'd be even better. He's definitely been a standout player in what's been a poor season for Middlesbrough. Obviously, struggled near the relegation places this season. You look at Wynn's stats, he's actually Borough's top scorer this season from a midfielder, which is fantastic. He's got 34 games and 7 goals, very good stats. Um, what's been a poor season for Middlesbrough this season. Um, so yeah, I put one in the list. People might not agree, people might go with someone else, but yeah, I put him in. Hmm. Number eight, I've gone with a very good West Brom player in uh, the name of Matas Pereira. Now, people might think you should have him higher up in your list. Yeah, probably so. Uh, he's been one of West Brom's best players this season. Obviously, West Brom sits second in the league. You look at this guy's stats are phenomenal. Um, I think they got him on loan, if I'm right in saying, from Benfica or somewhere. Portuguese club, but he's been fantastic. He's a young player. Um, he's got 33 games, 6 goals and 16 assists. I believe 16 assists is the most in the league. And they've had phenomenal stats. Um, West Brom have had a good season. This guy's been part of it. Um, I believe he plays on the win, if I'm right in saying. He's a very good technical winner. Quick on the ball, Pacey. Obviously, the assists are all. You know, he's obviously a good crosser of the ball. Um, yeah, fantastic player. And uh, he had to make his top 10 for me. Very good player. And you never know if West Brom get promoted. They might get him on a permanent basis. You never know. But yeah, he definitely makes this list for me. Uh, fantastic player. Number seven, I've gone with uh, a very good Championship strike, he has been for years, very prolific in this league. I've gone with uh, Lewis Graben of Nottingham Forest. This is a player who's, you know, he's been a very good player in this goal scorer in this league for years. Um, he's obviously doing it for Forest now. Forest sit outside the playoffs, I believe. They've had a very good season with their standards. Um, but massively down with this guy, he's played 36 games, 17 goals. As I said, he's been a top championship striker for years now. He's obviously getting better. He's doing it every season still. He's near the 30s as well now. I think he's... 31 or something, but yeah, still keeps on doing it. And Forrest the high in the league because of this guy's just an out and out goal scorer, as good as a strike as you get in this league. And yeah, I put Lewis Graben in seventh. Number six, I've gone with a player I really, really like um, at this level. For me, on his day, I don't think there's a better player in the league. 
upon his day. And that's Pablo Hernandez of Pablo Hernandez of Leeds United. This is a player who is 35 years old now, I believe, 36. But he's still a fantastic player. And the lead sit top of the table. And this is down to this guy. He's absolutely fantastic. He's, a, he's as good as a midfielder you get in this league, I think. Very good pass with the ball. Very good shooter. Very technical. He's like a championship David Silver, I call him. He's that type of player. He's Spanish as well. Drifts past players. Very small player, but he's very good on the ball. And yeah, Leeds, again, Leeds have had a fantastic season. Sit top of the league. Massive deal with this guy when he plays. He wins games on his own. He's like, controls that midfield. And yeah, he's a very good player. I like him at this level. And then... Uh, He's been good at this level for years. Massive fan of Pablo Hernandez. He's a quality player. He's good at Swansea as well. Um, yeah. Number five, I've gone with another Leeds player, um, Ben White. Obviously, I made a video about this guy and um, talking about him where I said he's one to watch out for. Um, 100% he is. For me, he's been the best centre-back in the league this season. Well, obviously, I put him in this list, so he's got to be a, what a fantastic, young, promising centre-back and he's English as well. 22 years old, I believe, and... Um, on loan from Brighton North Albion to Leeds United. He's played every single game for Leeds this season and because his performances have been that good, he's got Premier League clubs after him, one of them including Liverpool, so shows this guy's potential. Very, very good player. I think he can play midfield as well. Uh, very, very good on the ball. I've watched him very composed. Very tall, talented centre-back. Good in the air. He hasn't scored a goal, which surprised me for Leeds this season. Um, but they've kept a lot of clean sheets since down with this guy. He's very good in the air. Very tall centre-back, very strong. Good on the ball. And for me, yeah, he's been the best centre back in the league by far this season. Massive part of Leeds' success, and this guy's got Premier League clubs after him. So yeah, I had to put him at top ten. So number five, I've gone with Ben White. Number four, um, very massive, massive fan of this player. Um, excuse me, guys. Uh, yeah, number four, I've gone with Ollie Watkins of Brentford. This guy's fantastic. Um, I think Brentford play him on the win. Um, he's a, he's obviously a striker mainly. Playing the strikes of Ansel, he's mainly on the win, but he's obviously good enough to be a striker. That's why he played at his old club, Exeter. But this guy's phenomenal. As good as a player as he get, one of the best players in the league. Um, you look at his stats this season 37 games, 22 goals. Fantastic. And again, Brentford have been great this season. They're sitting in the playoffs. This guy's been a massive part of that. He's very pacey, very quick, very technical, very good finisher. Takes on players. And I've watched him and he's a really good player. And I think he's good enough to play in the Premier League. Whether that's for Brentford next season or someone else, I'm sure he will be playing in the Premier League because he's got Premier League quality. And I think there'll be Premier League clubs sniffing around this guy whether Brentford go through the playoffs or not. The season continues, of course. Um, Ollie Watkins is a really good player. And a lot of clubs are watching him and I'm not surprised because he's been Brentford's best player this season and the stats are all really... Obviously, the talent was there before he went to Brentford. Brentford was seen. Brentford snapped him up and they could probably get 20 million for him now. They'll probably play chips for him. So, yeah, massive fan of this guy. He's fantastic. So, number four, I've gone with Oddie Watkins. Number three, I've gone with a player that's unfortunately been injured. This is well, he got injured recently before this happened. Uh, Bradley Dack. I'm a massive fan of Bradley Dack. Um, he's been a very good championship player for years now. Again, he's probably had the chance to go to the Premier League, but he stayed low at the Blackburn Rovers. As I said, his season this season got disrupted by injury, but before that, Blackburn were near the playoffs. He went on a good run of form, and it was down to this guy. Yeah, wins games on his own for them. Very, very good central attacking midfielder. Got a very good shot on him. Takes set pieces as well. I think he's as good as a midfielder as you get in this league on his day. And again, I'm surprised he's not playing the Premier League, but that could happen soon. Very, very good player in this level. One of the best midfielders on his on this day in the league if not the best fantastic player and he's by far Blackburn's best player Blackburn have had a decent season because of this guy and when he did get injured they started drifting off the biff so shows how important he is yeah Bradley Dax a very good player at this level and uh, I'll put him in number three number two now um, could have been number one this guy because he's a very very important part of the team players so I've gone with Calvin Phillips um, he's had that much of a good season at Leeds as talks of getting England call up for the Euros Um Massive fan of Calvin Phillips. He's a uh, phenomenal. Um, what a player. I mean, you know, Leeds have been fantastic this season. It's because of this guy. Just the hard work, he's the dirty work of it. Um, gets stuck in there, you know, plays in a central defensive midfield role. But he does all the hard work, the work that goes unnoticed. Leeds fans are a massive fan of this guy. He's absolutely loved by their fans. I think Man United will link with him. He's been that good. Phenomenal player at this level, controls the midfield, very good player, and you know, he's got big clubs after him, not surprised for me, 
yeah, he's the second best player in the league, without a doubt. Leeds is best player, most important player. He's come on leaps and bounds. He's such a good passer of the ball as well. Very good tackler, as I said, does the unnoticed work. Doesn't score a lot of goals, but he does the hard work and leads his success this season. is massively down to this guy for me. Fantastic. So, yeah, number two, I've got McCarvin Phillips. Number one, this was a no-brainer for me. I have gone with Alexander Mitrovic of Fulham. Fantastic strike at this level. Fantastic. Um, 34 games, 23 goals. Top scorer in the league. Unbelievable. For me, he's too good to be playing the Championship. He should be playing the Premier League. He was good in the Premier League when Fulham got relegated as well. One of their better players. But he's obviously played in the Championship with them this season. Probably could have got a Premier League move, but he stayed with them. He's just scored goals for fun. And he does not any better in the league, in my opinion, on the day than Alexander Mitrovic. He's got every quality you need and a good strike at this level. Good header of the ball, good finisher. He's pacey for a big player as well. He's fantastic and it was no doubt for me he's the best player in the league on his day at this level. Phenomenal. Yeah. It's number one I've got with uh, number one I've got with Alexander Mitrovic. I want to give a few shout outs to the players who unfortunately missed his top ten, who I, I'm a massive fan of. Lukas Jukovic of Birmingham. Very good strike at this level, scores a lot of goals, has been for years, massive fan of him. Tom Kearney of Fulham, another fantastic player at this level, who I'm a massive fan of. Um, Daniel Ayer of Middlesbrough, very good centre-back, um, has been for years at this level. I'm trying to think if I've missed anyone else. Adam Breach of Sheffield Wednesday, I like him, I think he's very good. Ben Pearson of Preston, very good midfield player. And uh, Alan Brown as well of Preston, there's plenty more I could go on. So my top 10 is Abuchi Etsy of QPR. Number 9, I've got my Lewis Wynn of Middlesbrough. Number 8, Matthias Perr of West Brom. Number 7, Lewis Grabber of Nottingham Forest. Number 6, Pablo Hernandez of Leeds. Number 5, Ben White of Leeds. Number 4, Lee Watkins of Brentford. Number 3, Bradley Dack of Blackburn. Number 2, Calvin Phillips of Leeds. And number 1, Alexander Mitrovic of Fulham. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you later.